All righty, my dear Esther, we are going over division of polynomials. And there's two types. There is what's called regular division of polynomials, long division, if you will. And then there is, of course, what's called synthetic division. But just to recap, so we're going to take this problem here, and we have 6x cubed minus 8x plus 5, and we are dividing by 3x squared plus 6x plus 8. So that's what we're originally doing. Make sure that's squared. Yes, that is squared. Zero. Got it. So we are taking this number and we're dividing by this number. So it's going to look like this. I'll take it nice and long here. You need lots of space. I mean, like lots and lots of space. I would literally use half a page for each problem if I had my choice. So I have, let me keep my colors straight. Yeah, I'm going to use yellow. We're going to go 6x cubed. Now we don't have an x squared term. So we're going to go plus 0x squared minus 8x and plus our constant 5. And then on the outside, we have 3x squared plus 6x plus 8. All right. Your job is to basically look at this first term here, this very first term, and looking at this first term and think, what can I multiply that by in order to cancel it? And we know that x squared times another x gets me x cubed. So I know I need at least an x squared. And then I need a 2 in order to times by that 3. So right here, I'm going to put a 2. And we're going to do x, 2x. Now, one step at a time, the 2x times a 3x squared is going to get us that 6x cubed. And then 2x times the 6x. Of course, watch your signs. Be very careful with your signs here. That's going to be 12x squared. 2 times 6 is 12. And then this is going to be adding 16x. So this is the trick to the whole problem. You have to be very, very careful. When you subtract one from the other, so we are subtracting this entire entity minus this entire entity, that little minus sign is going to distribute so watch very carefully. It's as if you're distributing a negative one here. So if I were to distribute this, that would make this negative. That's going to make, think of it as a minus one, distributing all the way through. Minus one, that's going to make that a negative. That's going to make that negative. Then you just kind of ignore that. So it changes the sign all the way down. So now 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, this cancels, which is what we're looking for. This is 0 minus 12x squared. So this is negative 12x. This is negative 8 minus 16. That's basically 8 plus 16. It's going to be minus 24x. Done there.
Okay, there was a mistake. I know there was some snake, I didn't catch it. Um, that's 12X squared and then minus 24X. So I dropped my square right there. That's what was causing a little bit of confusion here. Okay, now our goal is to figure out, here we have again, three X squared. And we're gonna try to cancel with negative 12 X squared. So we come here and we are going to, we know three times four will get us 12. So we're gonna minus four here. And then watch what happens. Okay, negative four. So that's technically negative four times three X squared, and that's gonna be negative 12 X squared. Negative four times six X, it's gonna be minus 24 X, and then negative four times eight, that's gonna be negative 32. All right, now, this is where you have to be super duper 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 careful. Technically, we are minusing this whole thing. So that negative sign distributes to all three turns. So watch what happens. That becomes positive. That becomes positive. That becomes positive. And we just kind of ignore that because we distributed it. So now watch the negative 12x squared plus 12x squared cancels. Negative 24x plus 24x cancels. So I basically have a positive 32 remainder. Excuse me, 32. Then I add the five. So, and then that's gonna be a remainder 37. So your final answer technically should be expressed like this. All right, final answer should be expressed like this. This is 2x minus 4, and then you do the 37 over 3x squared plus 6x plus 8. Technically, that's a fraction. Some teachers just like it like this, 2x minus 4, remainder 37. I'm not sure what your teacher wants there. So let's take a look at your work and where we got lost here. Ah, 2x minus looks like uh, 2x right here. Okay looks like, I highly recommend when you're doing this that you draw these little distributive lines. So that is 2x, 3x squared, that gave you negative 6x to the third. And then this is what happened, just so you can see it. It's easy to see. Again, I would draw the distributive lines so you don't get lost here. So when you do this and you go like that, that got you your um, your, well, it's technically your 6x, and then we end up minusing it. Okay, so that's 6x cubed, but this is where we went wrong, right here, that 2x to the 6x, that is uh, 12x squared, so that's good. And then here you had D, 16, X. All right, so that part you did, and then all of that was originally plus, and you distribute that negative, and you get negative 6X squared, that's minus 12, and that's minus this. Okay, so you did get that far. This canceled. Ah, right here. Right here. You got it. Ta-da! You dropped that one. X 
squared minus 24x plus 5. So you just drop the 1 there. That's what happened. And then you do the minus 4 because it goes opposite. All right, so we figured out what happened there. So just be really careful. I highly recommend while you're doing this to like talk your math out loud, noticing I'm narrating every single stinking step. So talk it out now, mumble yourself through it so that you can see um, each step. All right, it says that we're going to use synthetic division. I want to do long division and then synthetic division so that you can see both. All right, so long division first. Let me just get my numbers here. And that's going to be V plus seven going into uh, six V to the third plus 45V to the second, plus 27V plus 51. Okay, so I'm gonna do it longhand and then we'll do synthetic. So you can see both and that you get the same answer. All right, step one, our goal is to cancel with this. So we are going to start with a V to the second and a six. So six V to the second. I distribute and that's going to be six V to the third and then six times seven. That's going to be plus 42 V to the second. Technically, we're minusing, so we distribute that minus sign, so that's going to be minus, that's going to become minus, and we just kind of ignore that. These cancel. So I have 45 minus 42, and we get 3v to the second. Now we're going to bring down the 27v plus 51. I'm trying to match that 3v to the second. So now we're going to add 3v. And we come here, go like that. That's going to be 3v to the second. And 3 times 7, that's 21. So positive 21v. And we come down here, once again, minus all of this, distribute that, that's minus, that's minus, we ignore that. These guys cancel, that's 27V minus 21V, so that's going to be 6V plus 5. Now we're trying to match that six. So last but not least, we're going to add six. Shrink this back here so you can see it all in one fell swoop. Notice these, these colors really help you keep track of stuff. So we're going to do six to V. That's six V and 14. And it's plus originally. Let me shrink it in here. Once again, we're minusing this whole thing. So we distribute, that's going to be minus six. This becomes minus 14. This cancels five minus 14 is negative nine. Okay, so our final answer just so you can see it, is going to be 6v squared plus 3v plus 6. 
this a remainder of negative nine. Now, for synthetic division, step number one, I'm gonna bring this back over so you can see it. I'm gonna take a little paste here, cut and paste. Okay, so there's our original. There is our projected answer right above, and now we're going to do this synthetic division. Step number one is we need to get our divisor. So we have V plus seven equals zero to find our zeros, and of course V equals negative seven. That's step one. Okay, now we're going to do our I have, watch your exponents, there's three, two, one, and technically zero. So we don't have to worry about any blanks. So I'm gonna go like this. I need four, one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna color code it. Say we have here six V, uh, not six, we're doing synthetic, so it's just a straight up six. We have a straight up six. And then we have so six here. Then we have the 45. And then we have the 28. And then we have the 51. And we're going to be using negative seven as our divisor. Okay, step number one, you bring this six down and we start multiplying. So negative six times seven is of course, that's gonna be negative 42. Now you add those and um, you're gonna get a positive three. 45 minus 42, positive three. So just be really careful as you multiply this out. Negative seven times three is negative 21. So we have here negative 21. Again, you're adding and you are going to get, uh, that's gonna be seven. Make sure we got that. Okay, it's the benefit of doing both here. I just realized that I copied this wrong. I didn't circle, so this should have been 28. So let's fix this so that you can see this properly right here, that's why we wanna do both. This is a 28, not a 27, got it. We're gonna come up here and it makes a big difference right here, 3V. And right there. That gets us still the 21, so we did the three there, but this is going to become, of course, 7V plus five, so this should be seven uh, plus 51. And the seven, that's gonna be 7V, and seven times seven is 49. So that's 49. And then we subtract, of course, that distributes, that distributes. So cancel. And 51 minus 49 is remainder two. So our original correct answer here should have been 
Let me make sure we copy our stuff down. You probably caught that mistake before I found it. That would have been a seven and then a remainder of two. Ta -da! Now we come back to our synthetic division. So you can see that right here. All right, that is going to be 28 minus 21, of course, is seven. And then you do this last step right here, seven times seven, it's negative 49. And of course we get a remainder of two. Then you go back and that's going to be six because we started at cubed. All right, so it's gonna be squared. So it is six V squared plus three V plus seven with a remainder of two. That's the benefit of both doing synthetic and long division is you can double check both. Now that I've made you significantly paranoid, let's do one more, both ways so that you can see that, that yes, they actually work here. Let's do this way. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to start with synthetic and then work ourselves backwards here. So you can see it's going the other direction. So I'm going to grab this. And add it to a new page. Right up here. I'm going to start with synthetic and then I'm going to do it longhand. So you can see it both ways going the other direction. Okay. So synthetic first, we're here. We're doing X minus four. So that's going to be X minus four equals zero, where an X equals four. So that's your divisor. And then we're going to make our chart. Let's look. We have a four. Double check, we have a four, a three, a two, a one, and a constant. So we don't have to worry about any zeros. And we're starting with one, two, we're doing five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And right here, I have a two, and then a one, and then negative 32, and then negative 15, and then negative 11. And we're evaluating by four. Step one, you bring the two down and go one step at a time. Four times two, bring it up here, it's eight. And we add, so this is going to become nine. I'm gonna switch colors, we're doing green next. And it is four times nine, of course that's 36, positive. Our color straight, we're doing this in green, yes, and 36. And this is positive four. And we go like this times four times four is going to be 16. Bring that down, that becomes a positive one, and then. The last one here, four times positive one is four and a negative 11, basically add four is going to be negative seven. So that's going to be your remainder. Now that you've done synthetic, let's do it longhand. So you can kind of see both versions here.
All right, so our original version was like this, x minus four, and we're gonna go That's going to be 2x to the fourth. Oh, final answer here. All right. This should be 2x to the third plus 9x to the second plus 4x plus 1. <coughs> the remainder negative 7. <coughs> That's what we're shooting for. So here's your original, here's the long hand. 2x to the fourth plus, we have x to the third minus 32x to the second minus 15x minus 11. You will see that this will be similar to this up here. I'm just gonna leave this up here. So you can kind of compare as we go. All right, step number one. Uh, we need to figure out what we can multiply by x to the fourth to two x to the fourth times x. And of course that is going to be right here, two x to the third. And we distribute. That's going to be 2x to the fourth, and that's going to be minus 8x to the third. And of course, when we do the minus here, that distributes, so that becomes a minus, that becomes a plus. We kind of ignore that. And this cancels, and this ends up becoming 9 x to the third, and we're going to bring down the 32x squared. Okay, next we need to get that 9 there. So we're going to need to add 9, my color straight, add 9x squared. We come down this way. That's going to be 9x cubed now, because x squared times x minus, and then 9 times 4, that's going to be negative 36x squared. And this could be 32x squared. Got it. All right. So we're minusing. Goes like this. It's coming real close. We're distributing. This becomes negative. That becomes positive. And we bring it down. And we get here cancels. This is going to be 4x squared. Shrink it back so you can see it. All right. Now we do 4x. Plus 4x, 4x times here, that gets us 4x squared. And then here we have, um, we're going to bring down the 15x minus 15x. And 4 times 4, that's 16, and it's negative 16x. And ready? minus, once again, we distribute, so that's negative four, that's positive 16. This cancels, this becomes one X. So that's where we get the plus one from, and we get a one X. And we're gonna bring down that negative 11, that one X, that's gonna be minus four, 
shrink it back in. You can see it going both ways, negative, that's minus, that becomes plus. And there we go, that cancels, and this is negative seven, ta-da. Remainder of negative seven. You can see that the synthetic division and the long division matches. I hope this was helpful. I think, was there one more? Let's double check. I think we did both of them. Uh, nope, we looks like we have one more. State if the binomial is a factor of the given polynomial. Um, factor means it divides in evenly. So if you do a synthetic division and it comes out to no remainder, it's even. So let me show you what that looks like for this. All right, number 11. First off, we're going to evaluate. We have V equals 7. And there we have our cubed, our quadratic, our singular, and our constant. So right here, that's going to be a 1, a 3, a negative 71 and a positive two. And we start with seven. And you see, if it divides evenly, it means it's a factor, a direct factor of. So we bring down our one and here we go, seven times one, that's seven right there. We're gonna add that, of course, and we get a 10. And then we do our next one, seven times 10 is 70. So we got 70. When we bring that down, that's gonna be negative one. And then seven times negative one is positive seven and nine. So you take a look here. What if we start with the cube here? This ends up being one v squared plus ten v minus one. with a remainder of nine. So no, it's not an even factor. Let's do this longhand just so you can see it both ways. All right, we have a V cubed plus three V squared minus 71 V plus two. Outside we have V minus seven. We'll do this longhand so you can see it both ways. All right, going this way, we're going to start with V and squared. And V squared times V, that's V cubed minus 7V squared. Of course, we're going to minus distribute, that becomes a plus, and that cancels. And we have our cells 10V squared minus 71 which means here our next step is we need a V squared, which means we need another V and a 10. So we're going to go plus 10 V distribute. And that is 10 V. So that's 10 V squared minus 70 and subtract and we distribute. So technically that's minus, that's plus. So these cancel, and that gets you negative one. And we have plus two. And 
and this is D, this is B. So we have a plus V here and distribute, um, excuse me, a one, and that's going to be one V and that's minus seven minus distribute, that's minus, that's plus, and you can see longhand, that cancels, that is a remainder of nine. Exactly the same thing as the synthetic. So to answer question number 11, no, it's not a factor because it didn't divide evenly. It has a remainder. I hope that's helpful.